I'm always excited to see the cornfields when I'm playing Nurse. Because, as if the map isn't big enough as it is, I have no range add-ons. And I have nothing but barbecue and chili. Nothing but a little barbecue and chili. Got nothing to charge my blinks faster. Nothing to slow down my fatigue. I'm kind of whiffing like halfway on purpose so that they think I'm a baby nurse. But I don't want that to backfire on me. See, she ran right into me. Probably thinking I'm a baby nurse, like, give me a free hit or something. I don't know. I don't know what she's thinking. Oh, is that a pallet? Okay, so we got to get somebody on a hook in order to give get some pressure going here because that's all we have for gen regression. Is literally they're coming down for the save. Oh, I thought they were on the hill. Coming for the save. Guess not. I should probably take the hill if I could get up there. <laughs> Want to injure all of them a little bit. She faked it. She dead hearted. Corn blindness is a real thing. For those of you who don't know. You can go for hook two, but she probably has decisive strike. We'll see. Three, two, one. Nope, you don't. Okay. Well, this helps me out just a little bit that's not gonna do anything but it's better than nothing i suppose this is a nice little spot on the hill we have because she's on second hook now oh here they are they got a boon going Come on. Nice. Got lucky there. I didn't have a second blink. That was my bad. I really messed that up. Might as well break this. Kind of gave that that uh, situation away. I was in a good situation, and I kind of gave it away. Ah, I can't. I'm not recharging my blinks long enough. You're kind of messing things up for yourself here. Wait, she was only... I'm confused. Oh, 
I'm pretty confused right now. I thought this girl was moriable. Guess not. Okay, that's fine. You want to do your little double back games? That's fine. They just don't want to keep popping off gents. It's not fine. They're getting away. They're getting away. It's not fine. Nothing's fine when they're getting away. I swear this corn blindness. Gotcha. I got an idea here. I just don't know if she's death hook. I don't think she's death hook. Now we could take the party to the basement. Yep. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. There's one on this generator. Ah! Could not get through that pallet. Wow, I really messed up there. I need to see if this one's death hook or not. Got to see if she's death hook or not. Nope. Beautiful. Oh my goodness. This is bad, man. They're strong. Oh my goodness. I can't wait till Dead Heart is not in this game anymore the way that it is. I didn't have another blink. Oh boy, this is so frustrating. This is so frustrating. They're out. They got out. Wow, that was really rough. Really, really rough. Like frustratingly rough. Is frustratingly a word? I don't know, but it was ridiculously frustrating. Definitely had to be a swift there. The way they were coordinated was solid. And, you know, it's like, everybody complains about, you tunnel, you hook camp. But the second you leave the hook, they just get the save. So it's almost like you're forced to. 
And the second you don't stick on one survivor and you go for another, it's like you're just asking to lose, basically. You're like, okay, here, you get... Because in order to actually get them all, you literally have to hook each one three times. So that's three, six, nine, twelve hooks you would have to get. Twelve hooks. You don't have enough time when they're rushing the generators to get 12 hooks. You just don't. If they're good, you don't have enough time to get 12 hooks. You actually have to get somebody out of the game in order to take some of the pressure off all those generators. Because even when two or three of them are down or one's on a hook and one's down, like you still have other people getting generators done. So, you know, what, what can you do? It's like, the best position I was in was right here when they were on the hook. And my stupid mistakes is I leave those positions when I should just stay right there. Like, stay in that position. Why leave it? That's the best position to be in. But whatever, it's good. It's good practice, good challenge. No perks, no gen slowdown, no range add-ons. Blood points were not nearly as much as I wanted them to be. I had like nothing in this category. But, whatever. Good practice. Good to experience what you're going to deal with going up against strong swifts. The crazy part is, though, like, I just played a game before this. And they were just all random noobs. And they were so easy. So, you go from being, like, lackadaisical, chill, and you're just like, yeah, nothing to worry about. And then you end up going against a really strong, sweaty swift like this. That... They're just, they just outplay you because you're not, you're not even expecting it. You're just thinking like, oh, just chilling. But like I said, good practice. Good practice. It's good to get, it's good to get slaughtered sometimes. It just gets frustrating with certain things like you should have had the hit, but then they dead hearted. So it's like... You lost it. But, I mean, Dead Hard's in the game. At least it is now. The way it is with the speed boost. And who knows if when they do the update if it's going to be better or worse. Because if you hit them with it now... With the new update, I think they're going to get an adrenaline speed boost. So it might even be worse. Not sure about that. 